Welcome to Happy Handwriting! Before we start any writing or drawing activity, quickly do a few lazy eights. In the air, big and small, on doodle paper, on the tiles, or just on regular A4 paper. Remember to start in the middle and go up and down, up and down, always in this direction. So you start in the middle, go left, up. Then we're going to listen to this little girl and she's going to sing a song. See if you can copy her movements exactly so that you can get ready for your handwriting. Before you start writing, can you sit up straight holding your pencil correctly? Sit up straight, legs at a 90 degree an angle and feet flat on the ground. Open your fingers in the crocodile mouth position. Put the pencil in the crocodile's mouth. Close it and make sure you hold your pencil exactly like this. We are going to be the green bear today. We are going to be adaptable and aspirational because we are going to be practicing and working very, very hard. We are going to repeat activities to improve our work. Let's see if you can be the green bear today. Our learning question is, can I form the letters V, W, X and Z? V, W, X and Z sitting on the line while saying the letter rhyme. Practicing the zigzag letters V, W, X and Z or V, W, X and Z always start at the top and make sure these letters are sitting on the line, on the grass. So you will start at the top and you'll go down. Let's practice the V, the V sound first. Down a wing, up a wing.
These are your W and V letters. W and V. Draw a zigzag pattern on a big paper or card in quite a big letters. And then you can stick some beads or pebbles or anything onto it. And when you're finished, you can trace it with your finger and going worm down, up, down, up, down, up. For the V, ask your adult to cut out a big V for you and then add some violets into your vase. That V is your vase. And remember, the violets are a violet color. If you don't have violet card or paper, just color your own or draw your own. Make sure that you cut out your circles beautifully to stick them on for your flowers. And you can use pasta for the stems of the flowers or anything you wish. The, your next letter is the W again. For the W, you can uh, use and you can use the W and the V for the same exercise. That one is your W. Worm down, up, down, up. You can do the same with this one. R V. Down a wing and up a wing. For this one, you can stick some wheels. We use some pasta wheels. And when you're finished, you can trace it and you can feel the texture. Worm down, up, down, up. Just like that. For the next, worm down, up, down, up. This one is water paint. And the best thing about this is that you can do it anywhere you wish and you won't even make a mess. Outside, on the tiles, even inside, on a tray, on a table with a plastic cover, wherever you wish. And remember to say the rhyme, worm down, up, down, up. The next one is tic-tac-toe. Use some Play-Doh and or just draw it. Make sure you form your X correctly. Down, across. Make sure that you choose to be the X when you and your adult play tic-tac-toe. Play-Doh. Roll them into snakes. Then make the grid for your tic-tac-toe game. Make your O or your zero and your X. And make sure to trace it every time you play. This is really, really good for your fine motor control to do this one and this way you'll also remember how to make your X. The Z. Oh, fantastic. You could trace the Z in lentils and flour and salt and shaving foam. Have quite a few trays or plates ready with your different textures in it and then trace the Z. Zig. Zag, zig. There you go. For this one, you will need some help from your adult. Cut out a big Z, and then you have to cut out the zebra stripes. If you don't have black card, you can use any color and just make your zebra a colorful zebra. For the mane, you can use yarn or pipe cleaners or whatever you have ready and when you're finished you can draw the mouth and the ears and the eye and you can have a lovely zebra to trace how good is that so today we're going to practice the zigzag letters as well as the long ladder family. What you will need is some sandpaper that you cut to size, 
some card so you can write your message inside. Colored pencils and a ruler. Before you start, draw some lines on the card for your child so they can fill in the uh, marks with their pen. The older children can do this themselves. Once you've done this, they can choose any color they wish and decide to make their um, <coughs> letters of uh, their marks and it needs to be down, down, up, stop. Down, up, stop. Down, up, stop. They can also choose a different color and perhaps go zig, zag, zig. Zig, zag, zig. Zig, zag, zig. Any pattern they would like to until the whole card is filled up. For this one, they can perhaps do worm down, up, down, up. Worm down, up, down, up. Worm down, up, down, up. That's for the, for the W. Um, Etc. And then when they are finished, they can stick it onto a card and write a little message inside for anybody they'd like to. And that's how you can practice the long ladder family or, and the zigzag letters um, to get familiar with the letter formation. What's important is the rough side of the sandpaper is really tactile and it gives the children a good feel so they can actually feel how to form the letter as well. There you go.